I've had the most confusing time lately with terms like quick charge 3.0, fast charge, adaptive fast charging, power delivery, and whatever other names we give to charging our phones faster. Boom, 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 bang, bang. I've made a number of videos testing the charging times for phones for the sake of gathering this information and just learning more about how this battery technology works. But let's start with something basic. My Moto G3 comes with a charger with a 2450 milliamp hour battery. The third gen Moto G charges from 0 to 100% in over 4 hours. The third gen Moto G also uses a micro USB plug to charge. Now let's move on to the Samsung Galaxy S7. This phone takes advantage of Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 technology. Its charger is rated at an output of 9 volts at 1.67 amps and 5 volts at 2 amps. We're seeing two different outputs here because the phone will quickly charge using 9 volts at 1.67 amps and then slow charge the remaining battery at 5 volts at 2 amps. From what I can gather, the phone slow charges at the end to preserve the battery, to keep the battery more efficient so it doesn't heat up. At least that's what I'm gathering from this. With a 3000 milliamp hour battery, the S7 charges in about, well, from 0 to 100% in about 1 hour and 19 minutes. Sorry, 1 hour and 23 minutes. Had to double check that. This uses a micro USB cable to charge while the other end uses a legacy USB type A cable. This is your standard USB cable or USB plug that you're used to seeing. That kind of time is a huge difference in charging times when you compare it to the third generation Moto G. Not only does the S7 have a bigger battery, 3000 milliamp hours versus the Moto G third generation 2450 milliamp hour battery, but it charges in an hour and 23 minutes versus over four hours, so less than half the time it takes to charge this phone. Let's talk about the Nexus 6P. The Nexus 6P uses a different type of charging technology called USB power delivery. This technology offers increased power levels and optimizes power management. Its charger is rated at only one output, 5 volts at 3 amps, the highest amperage of any smartphone that I own. With a 3450 milliamp hour battery and its stock charger, my 6P charges from 0 to 100% in about an hour and 35 minutes. And while other smartphones still use the old school USB type A and micro USB plugs, the 6P uses type C on both ends to charge the phone. So a type C connector here instead of the old school type A. And then we have the G5. This phone is classified as Quick Charge 3.0, reportedly able to charge the phone from 0 to 80% in 35 minutes. That is according to Qualcomm. This is a number I've yet to achieve. In all my testing with the G5, the best I can hit is 0 to 60% in 30 minutes. Firstly, using the stock charger, which is rated at 9 volts at 1.8 amps and 5 volts at 1.8 amps, which is very similar to the S7, which is 9 volts at 1.67 amps and 5 volts at 2 amps. I was able to charge charge this phone from 0 to 100% in about an hour and 19 minutes. This is off a 2800 milliamp hour battery, similar numbers to my Samsung Galaxy S7, which pretty much means the charger the G5 came with is more in line with Quick Charge 2.0. It uses the legacy USB Type-A cable, but the other end is a USB Type-C cable. With all of this said, I had someone on YouTube touch base with me, and while we were talking nerdy tech stuff, he brought up using the 6P charger to charge the G5, which recently has been noted to not only handle Quick Charge 3.0, but USB power delivery as well. So instead of charging the G5 with its 9 volts at 1.8 amps and 5 volts at 1.8 amps, I'm going to use the Nexus 6P charger which charges at 5 volts at 3 amps, the highest output that I have. I want to see if we can beat that 1 hour and 19 minute mark on the LG G5. USB Type-C to USB Type-C. I will set a timer and go. Boom 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 bang bang boom 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 bang bang
This is the G5 stock charger. This is the 6P charger. About 14 minutes longer to charge this from a dead battery. Conclusion, use your G5 charger. This was a really good idea though. I thought that maybe using the 6P charger would actually charge the G5 faster, but it looks like it doesn't. I wanna thank Jason Booth for bringing the attention of charging it with the 6P to me. It's not something I initially thought of, especially the fact that a lot of people wanted me to maybe try doing the charge test with a USB type C to USB type C cable. I know there are others that are recommended I use a charger called TronSmart. I still have to look into that. For now, I'm still not seeing anybody who's getting any faster times. I'm still hopeful that this is possible. I keep learning new tidbits every day as far as the battery goes, so you never know.